the new Mavic 4 Pro introduced two new features for Focus Track: uh, improved long distance vehicle recognition to help focus on a car up to 200 meters away, and of course the long awaited genuine dynamic home point that keeps the return to home point updated automatically to wherever the controller is. So the other day, whilst I was out recording a podcast with fellow East Sussex photographer Stuart James, we put the focus track abilities of the Mavic 4 Pro to the test along a nice quiet country road that had way too many overhanging trees, but really did help test the tracking abilities of this new drone. in and I play with drones and this time I wanted to see how good the new Mavic 4 Pro is at tracking a moving car whilst the car keeps disappearing and hiding under overhanging trees and of course as I said the dynamic home point function that was brought in with the new RC Pro 2 controller. Entering focus track menu is simple enough you just tap the focus track icon on the left of the screen to bring up suggestions of possible targets automatically or you can simply draw a square around the subject but either way you're then offered three options. On the right, you've got point of interest, which will set up a circular flight around the subject, which is great for large static subjects where you just want a simple fly around. Over on the left, you've got Active Track 360, which will track a subject and fly the drone in varying positions around the subject as it moves. Obviously, that's great for wide open spaces when you're tracking a moving subject like a person walking, running or cycling. And then you've got the center default setting called Spotlight, and that keeps the camera focused on the subject, but lets you do the flying. And this is ideal if you're a passenger in a car and you want to do the flying around yourself. Now, given the high number of huge trees that were along this road and the fact that Stu was doing the driving, this was the mode I stayed in for this test. Now, you can use all three cameras for Spotlight mode. Active Track 360 won't work on the uh, full telephoto 168mm camera. Either way though, specs are quite impressive for this function. Vehicle recognition is a set up to 200 metres away. But as I soon found out, the Mavic 4 Pro was more than capable of tracking a vehicle well over 100 metres away. And you can see here, admittedly using the 70mm medium telephoto camera, it was still tracking the car over 300 metres away. What I really wanted to do was test the directional recognition of the tracking, where it uses the direction of travel of the subject to try and work out where it's likely to appear when it temporarily disappears. So as you can see here, tracking generally was pretty good to say the very least. It's clear that despite the dynamic home point, it is obviously not using the controller's location to track anything. The home point updates every few seconds and is often a good 10 to 20 meters out. Obviously the tracking actually is solely based on the camera and it works on the car itself and where it thinks it will come out from behind the trees. Crucially, it uses the direction of travel to stay focused on the right car even when other cars pass nearby. Now there was one spot where we knew it was going to fail and in fairness this strip of trees went on for a good 50 metres. But you can see in other areas the camera is looking and when it sees the car emerge it quickly locks back onto it and the camera carries on tracking. Now we were doing about 25 to 30 miles an hour along the quiet lane. Uh, the specs say the Mavic 4 Pro has got a top speed in tracking mode of 15 metres per second. That's around 30, 33 miles per hour. And as you can see it had no problems keeping the focus on the car as we drove along. Staying in spotlight mode when you're able to fly yourself is a great way to capture dynamic shots when there are just too many obstacles around to let it fly in a fully automated active track mode. And of course it lets you jump between the cameras so that you can stay high up above the trees but still get some decent close up shots. Now I mentioned the dynamic home point updating every few seconds and you can see how the distance updates in relation to the home point moving. The horizontal distance updates relative to the moving home point but crucially the height stays relative to the takeoff point and does not update as the controller moves up a hill. Ultimately the dynamic home point function is there to prevent the drone wrongly thinking it's got miles and miles from the home point when you're moving. This is important as updating the home point as you move will extend the remaining flight time shown as it no longer needs to allow for a very long return to home flight from the original takeoff point. Now the user manual does specifically state to avoid areas where you have trees with small twigs and power lines and as you well know I learned the hard way from flying around Newbury Farm Plants Arboretum in Bedfordshire last month when I was using the focus track and it flew straight into a small tree. So not wanting to get this stuck up a 30-40 metre oak tree 
I did keep the Mavic 4 Pro well above the tree line and follow the car manually flying, but letting the spotlight function keep the camera on the car itself. And I was really happy with the results. So everything worked as I wanted it to and would have expected it to. So there we go, good test and a nice quick video today. Uh, I am currently working on another smoother settings video for the Mavic 4 Pro. Hopefully I'll get that up in the next few days because the Mavic 4 Pro has brought a few new features over and above previous models to help get even smoother video. So hopefully, as I said, I'll get that up in the next couple of days. Um, click the button, of course, to get notified when I put a new video out. Drop a comment below and check out me chatting to Stuart James on his podcast that we filmed earlier in the day. I'm just rambling along about drones and how I lost my Mavic Pro over the uh, White Cliffs of Dover and how I ended up also uh, losing my drone down the volcano in Iceland the other day. That was uh, before I took this nice picture up there. Anyway, look, all good fun. So until next time, have fun, happy flying.